Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Our beloved Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for Thy loving kindness toward us. Father, kindly remember me and all these people who await for Thy living word of living word of God. Father, we thank Thee for Thy abundant grace toward us. I am Thy servant. I have come to Thy presence to speak on the word Thou hast given unto me. Father, I am not the man to speak here, but Please kindly pour the Holy Spirit on, on me and bless me with all the heavenly blessings to speak the thy word to the people who are eager to incline thine ears. To hear to incline their ears to thy word. Father, please come to us and hear our prayers and let us be happy with all thy blessings, asking in the name of Jesus. Amen. My dear people, I am glad to stand before you in this very happy time. Gathering before the feet of the Lord is the happiest thing for each and every human being. First of all, I'm thankful to you all. My dear people, I'm here to share with you the Word of God. Now, I'm going to speak on the Word Luke, 23rd chapter, 40th verse. There we have got one thing. Dost not thou fear God? This is... This is a main thing for today's uh, message. So, the main verse is this, doesn't thou fear God? My dear people, this is a sentence spoke by a notorious thief who was nailed to the cross beside Jesus on his right side. When Jesus was crucified on Calvary, Two male factors were also nailed to the cross. Both of them were on his left and right. So, when all the people gathered there who were tormenting 
Lord Jesus, nailing him to the cross. At that horrible situation, Lord Jesus was praying for them who are tormenting him with their cruel with their with their all cruelty using weapons and abusing him with their wicked hearts at that time one of the male factors who was nailed by the left side of jesus was speaking to jesus saying or not though jesus the christ if so you save yourself and save us too this was such a blame that male factor throws on jesus but at the same time the other male factor who was hanging on his cross rebuked the other person that is the his companion who you and i are fit for this punishment why because we our deeds are not good our life is very bad we are criminals so both of us are fit for this punishment of the cross but jesus he is he is innocent he doesn't commit any sin he is quite unfit to bear this cross such a way the the thief who was hanging on the right side of jesus re- rebuked the other person with all his heart confessing his sins before the lord he begged the lord jesus saying Lord kindly remember me on your return to earth kindly remember me in your kingdom when you come with all the glory of your kingdom kindly remember me to remember from for what to be with him forever and ever he came to know that jesus is the king of the heaven he is the king of heavenly kingdom he believed the same thing whole heartedly He came to know that no sinner could inherit that eternal kingdom 
so that he humbly confessed all his sins before the Lord, saying, Lord, kindly remember me in your kingdom. At the same time, he was rebuking the other male factor. You and I are criminals. We did so many unjust things in our lives. We are fit for this punishment. But Jesus is not such a person. He doesn't commit anything wrong. He is quite unfit to receive this punishment as we are. So, with a awakening heart, he came to know that he was a sinner and he completely surrendered himself to Lord Jesus and begged for his mercy. Lord, please remember me when you come with all the glories of thy kingdom. What happened? When he submitted himself to Lord Jesus with all his humbleness and obedience. Lord Jesus told him, Now itself you will be with me there in paradise. Now itself you will be there with me in paradise. Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus is going to be there in paradise. At the same time, he was more gracious to allow this person who begged him for the kingdom of God. Jesus promised him, Now it so, you'll be with me there in paradise. Praise the Lord. Why? This male factor feared God. He remembered all his life. It was very bad, very cruel, very unfaithful. Such person, whoever he may be, cannot inherit the everlasting life. So, we are, we are looking these two male factors one is not confessing his sins, he is not remembering his life. There is no any kind of repentance in his life, but he demands Jesus. I know you are Christ. If really you are Christ, Please save yourself first and save us.
But the case is different with the second male factor who was hanging on the cross by the right side of Jesus. He came to know all his wretched life. He was he was filled with sorrow. He was trembling with fear. He was confessing. He was confessing himself that he was a great sinner, my dear people. We, the people who attend the church now, some people are like that criminal who was on the left side of Jesus, and some are, or a few are like the criminal who was on the right side of Jesus. Many of many of the church attendants even are not going to think about their own lives as the thief who was hanging on the left side of Jesus. He, did, he was not cared for his life. He did not think of, of himself. He never cared for his life. But he was making some sort of abusing words. He was using some sort of abusing words towards Jesus the Christ. He did not know any kind of knowledge. Knowledge of what? He could not understand Lord Jesus was the Savior. He was thinking, Jesus also is one of, is one of the criminals, as he was. So like that, nowadays, number of people are in the same thinking. A good number of people in this world now take Jesus as they are. They live in they live in so wretched lives. Their sins are uncountable. Their lives are very unwanted. They have no, no care for their lives. Sometimes animals are far better than them. They never care for their own lives. They have no any kind of introspection of their lives. They have no any kind of introspection. Whatever they do, they think it is right. They don't want any difference between morality and immorality. For the meaning of immorality, 
they don't know. They don't care for that. Everything, whatever they like, they come forward to do such thing and satisfy. They have no any kind of spirituality in their lives. Simply, they think they are righteous by attending churches, by doing something there in the church, and by doing something good in the public. That's all. With that, they fully satisfy themselves. But here is another criminal. He says, Jesus, he, he has no any kind of sin in him like us. We are criminals. We are fit for this punishment, but whereas Jesus, he is quite unfit to receive that horrible punishment. He is just, he is innocent, he is holy. In spite of all this, he bears all the tormentation. Why? For you and I. For you and I. So, by the grace of God, one of the male factors who was on the right side of Jesus came to know the reality and he wholeheartedly he begged Jesus for pardon and also he remembered and begged the Lord Jesus to remember him when Jesus comes into this, into his kingdom with all the glories of holy kingdom. So my dear people, we have to get introspection of our lives. If we have no such introspection as that criminal hang, hanging on the right side of Jesus, we are in a dangerous state. Even though, even though you, are, you have got a very good life, with all the luxuries of this world, it is a different thing. Enjoying the world is quite different enjoying the heavenly things. People nowadays like very much to enjoy the worldly things. In this world, people are always waiting for the best chances to live happily. Is there happy really in these worldly things? No. Nobody can enjoy in worldly things. Worldly things, its end is sorry, sorrowful life and miserable life. At the end, one has to blame himself. Why? Because he never had an introspection of his own life, whether he was living piously or not. If your, your life is pious, if you are a godly-feared person, 
if your heart is filled with love, love, what is love? Not conjugal love, the heavenly love, which has no any kind of wantings. So, dear people, when we come to when we come to know the difference difference between the two male factors, the male factor who requests the Lord Jesus to remember him in his kingdom is completely washed out from all his sins and he was granted a glorious future to be with Lord Jesus in the paradise. So, my dear brother and sister, be not be not content with this world. Fear God, but not the world. Nowadays, so many people fear the world. So, they are attracting themselves to the evil. Evil Evil, evil retains now in this world. So, if you want to be a saved person from your sins, you should not seek for that evil, but for righteousness you must stay. How it is possible? It is possible to go through the word of Lord Jesus, that is the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is the communicating thing. It is the guidelines and holy ways of life. So, if you, if you want to be a holy person, escaping the eternal punishment of hellfire, you come to the feet of the Lord Jesus with all your heart, confessing all your parts before, um, uh, all your sins before him, then you will be obtained heavenly glories and you, you shall be there in the heaven escaping the hellfire eternal. Such thing may be granted to you and all, my dear people. Let us pray. Our beloved Heavenly Father, thank Thee for Thy loving kindness. O, oh, dost not Thou fear God? That is the word Thou hast told us. We are wanting all these worldly things only. We desire to fulfill them in our hearts and in our bodies. Father, pardon us, pardon me also. Let me and all these people come to thy feet according to that criminal who was nailed by the right side of you on, on the Calvary. You granted him to be with you there in the paradise. Like that, 
I and all these people beg thee to give us the that kind of kind mercy and receive us to be with them, to be with you forever and ever. Amen. May the grace of God be with you and save you. Amen.